Hello everyone, this is Kat with Cat Night TV. Today I am playing The Walking Dead. This is my part three of the playthrough. And this um, playthrough will hopefully be a little shorter than the last one. I kind of got caught up in it last time. It was pretty interesting. Um, so anyway, without hesitation, let's get it going and play. I think I was trying to find a remote. How you doing? Okay. It's the remote to my dad's TV. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. That's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Let's see. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. This is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies, and you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Fun. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks.
This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I don't remember them very well. It's all melted now. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Poor kid. It's all melted now. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. It. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. Hey, Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? In a minute. Okay, let me know. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. Actually, maybe we How are we doing? Good. 
Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. are on that zombie out in the street. Hey there. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go.
you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? through. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe so that you see part four. 
and hopefully I can think of something <laughs> before part four. Um, thank you for watching and have a great night.